Hello everybody. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to open and close some ports uh, in CentOS 7, uh, Firewall D. Uh, so the first thing we need to do, we need to find out if uh, Firewall D is active and running. So in order for us to do that, we need to issue the command system ctl status firewall D dot services. And here it's telling us that, uh, yes, it is active and uh, running. So in order for you to uh, stop this service, uh, you just need to type in stop and it'll stop it. Uh, and if you want to start it uh, back up, just start. Or if it's already started, you could also do uh, restart and it'll restart it for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, moving on, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to open up a port. So you would need to use the following command firewall dash cmd dash dash zone dash public the zone is public and uh, by default it is public uh, with but you can't change it of course dash add port uh, let's say we want to open port um, 80 http for slash tcp uh, and you want to use the uh, dash dash permanent argument uh, in order for it to survive the reboot process of this uh, server. Uh, enter. And then firewall dash cmd dash dash reload. All right. Um, and it is successful. Anytime you make any changes to um, anything that has to do with firewall, make sure you reloaded whether it's opening a port closing a port changing the uh, zones or anything like that so just uh, reload it keep that in mind okay so we have uh, port 80 open um, let's open up another port again firewall dash cmd dash dash zone public dash dash add dash Port. Let's open up 443 since we have uh, HTTP open. Let's open up HTTPS dash dash permanent and then firewall dash CMD dash dash reload. All right, so we have ports uh, 80 and 443 uh, open. So how do we find out if this is actually open? Uh, you could issue some commands to find that out. Uh, the first one would be um, firewall dash cmd dash dash listen listen all and here it's telling us that ports 443 uh, tcp and port 80 uh, tcp is uh, listening. Uh, the next one is you could do IP tables dash save then you want to grab for that port number in this case 80 and it's telling us that port 80 is accepting uh, traffic again 443 as well uh, the third way that you could do it is uh, firewall dash cmd dash dash zone equals public dash dash query port and then port 80 tcp and it's telling you yes port 80 tcp is open um, we could try it again for 443 as well 443 now if I try, you know, let's say port number 23, Telnet, I know that's closed, so let's see what's going to happen. It's telling us no, it's not open. Alright, so that's how you find out whether they're actually open uh, or not. Uh, and you could do these, uh, these with any other um, port that you want to find out whether or not it's open. All right, so now we're gonna uh, find out. We're gonna we're gonna uh, try to close uh, these two ports that we uh, just opened. So in order for us to do that, you need to issue the command firewall 
dash cmd dash dash remove port 80 or slash tcp dash dash permanent all right uh, again you want to reload okay so port uh, 80 has uh, just been closed so let's run some of those um, commands we did earlier on IP tables dash save and we want to grep for 80 since we just closed it uh, we get no we get nothing back because it's a, it's a closed port uh, if we do it on 443 since it's still open it will tell you that it is um, accepting traffic um, and again, same goes with all the other uh, ways of finding out whether or not a port is open. Um, so let's close port uh, 443 as well. Closing 443. Firewall dash CMD dash dash remove port. 443 forward slash TCP dash dash permanent. Alright, and again, reload CMD dash dash reload. And there you go. Uh, to check to see if the port is open, we could uh, run the command firewall dash CMD dash dash listen dash all. Since we closed both of the ports, they're no longer listed here. We could also issue the command again, um, IP tables, save. We did 80 earlier on, nothing. 443, nothing. Uh, again, I mean, guys, there are different ways of finding out uh, whether or not a port is open, but these are just some of the ways that I like to find out. Um, so that's pretty much how you open and close a port. Um, if you guys have any comments, uh, questions, please comment below, and I will do my best to answer any of your questions that you may have. Uh, other than that, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Um, take care. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.